Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the full performance capture workflow for Reillusion plus Rococo mocap. We'll start by generating a character in Character Creator 3, and then we'll export that character to iClone and get it set up with body, hands, and facial motion capture using Reillusion Live Face. We'll also take a peek at the workflow and get it set up in Cartoon Animator 4. Let's get to it. So here I am in the Reillusion hub, and the first thing I want to do is make sure everything is up to date. For this workflow, I'll be using Character Creator 3, iClone 7, and Cartoon Animator. You'll also need the Motion Live plugin, the Live Face plugin, and the Rococo profile for Motion Live. If you're just using the smart gloves without the suit, or maybe with another non-Rococo suit, Reillusion also offers a smart glove specific profile that you can use in Motion Live and iClone and Cartoon Animator. To start, I'm going to open up Character Creator 3. So I'm going to time lapse through this, but Character Creator 3 is a great software for generating character assets. Here I'm using a base character, but then I'm modifying it with a character morph that I got on the Reillusion store. I can also add clothes and hair, and there are a ton of amazing tutorials out there focusing on this process if you want to go and do a deep dive. Once I'm done creating my character, I'm going to go back to the hub and open up iClone 7. Then, with iClone 7 already open, I'll jump back into Character Creator, and I'll go to Export, Send Character to iClone. Then if I go back to iClone, my character will be imported directly, and you'll note it's already in a T-Pose, which is important because to use Rococo mocap, your character will always need to start in this T-Pose. Character Creator 3 also does a great job of posing the hands for Rococo. This pose with the fingers next to each other pointed down is exactly how we want our character to be prepped for our mocap. So at this point, I can open up the Motion Live plugin. Here you can see our Rococo profiles are already installed. So we just need to jump into Rococo Studio and make sure our live streaming ports are set up correctly. If we jump in, as you can see, I already have my smart suit and smart gloves set up and connected. And now I'll go to start live stream. So if we turn on the iClone module and then click the gear icon, you can see that I've set up two ports to stream to. One is going to be for the body mocap and one is for the hands and glove mocap. I've set them up at 14043 and 14045 respectively, which I'll need to remember when we jump back into iClone. If we jump back into iClone 7, we can change the port number on the hands to match that second port from Rococo Studio, 14045. So here I've got one going to 14043 and one going to 14045. I've also set up the Face Live plugin for my iPhone, which is a very easy process and I have it connected to the same Wi-Fi network as my computer. I've also made sure that the IP address matches that on the phone. So if we turn on this Face Live plugin, one thing I like to do is set a zeroed out neutral pose before I get started, and this will give me the most accurate facial mocap. Once this is done, I can turn on the body and face mocap connections, and you should see a green dot if everything is working right and then I can add them to my character. So now, if I go ahead and hit preview, voila, we are streaming body and hands mocap from our Rococo suit, and we're also streaming our facial motion capture from the Reillusion live stream app. So what's really cool about this whole setup is that we can record directly to the timeline in iClone. So let's record something short. Once we're done, we can play back our recording directly from the timeline. From here, we could start rendering directly from iClone, or you could export out this full animation FBX if you have the 3D Exchange plugin. So you can get this same full performance workflow going in Cartoon Animator 4 as well. And this is an awesome way to easily translate your 3D motion capture into a 2D format. 
Here I have the smart suit and the smart gloves and Reillusion's live face plugins all working together with this character. If you want to find out more about the cartoon animator workflows, you can check out our channel for the dedicated tutorials. So we hope you found this video helpful. The whole Reillusion suite is a great option for not only creating good characters, but then capturing full performance motion capture, including body, hands, and facial motion capture, all in one place. Please put any questions down in the comments below, and be sure to check out the recent webinar that we hosted with the Reillusion team. Thanks so much everyone, and check back soon for more tutorials. Bye!